All right, and we're back. We're working on some run drills today. I want to walk you through a few run drills that I really like from the pose world. You can check out posemethod.com for some more in-depth videos on, on what they're all about. But it's a great place to start breaking running down into a few three simple pieces. We have our basic running position that we're going to get started with. This is basic notion of posture. I've talked about in previous videos, not just being here, but actually running in the slightly bowed position. We have this idea of falling forward. I displace my center of mass, I shift my hips forward, and that creates movement. And this third idea, that once we've, cr we've created movement this way, we pull our feet up underneath us, and that exchanges our foot of support from one side to the other, and that exchange helps us get forward. Right? So this idea that I've talked about in the past, pushing and pulling occurs. I emphasize that on standard flat running, the pushing occurs as a way to stabilize through the hips. And the focus then is pulling more locally at my leg. So some of these drills that we're going to focus on today are going to be that pulling aspect. The first thing, can I just feel what that pull is like? Now, a lot of us as runners have done high knees or butt kicks. And I'll show you, high knee, knee comes way up high. Butt kick, foot comes way out the back. Really easy, we're gonna split the difference right in the middle. I'm gonna think about pulling right up here. And I wanna pull, my body's nice and straight, my ankle's nice and relaxed. Can I do five to 10 on one side, switch over, five to 10 on the other. If this feels, can I start to pull a little bit faster? But again, an idea I've talked about in double unders, if my hip's a little bit closed, I'm not open all the way, when I pull, I'm gonna see this upper body flinch, and that tells me that I haven't stabilized push for my hips first. Remember, pushing always before pulling. But this is that general shape, high knee, butt kick, right in the middle. So that's drill number one. Can I work on pulling back and forth on each leg? Can I then all of a sudden start doing a little bit faster, accumulate some reps on each side? Now we take that basic shape and we bring it over to the wall. I'm gonna put my hands out in front, I'm about you know, two, three feet away from the wall, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna lean forward here. I wanna think about driving my hips forward, being in that bowed extension position, and I'm gonna practice pulling again. See what this feels like when I'm leaning. Can I do a few? Now, next thing, can I start to pull back and forth, minimizing that hopping, and then can I start to go a little faster? So this is running in place in essence, and that if the wall were to disappear, I would keep going further down the road, and we'll practice that. We'll go here, we're gonna pull in place, and then all of a sudden I'm just gonna turn and run. I'm running away from you there a little bit, but don't worry, I'm back. So we have those different drills. We work on pulling in place. We work on going a little bit faster on either side. I take it to the wall, can I lean? Check your pull, make sure it's not going too far out the front or too far out the back. And then all of a sudden, can I start running in place? And then can I turn and run? Do these things for little 10, 20 yard stretches at a time. Great way to prime your running up before you uh, hit the road, hit the trails. So check it out. I'll be back at you with more videos. Catch you next time.